Mont to the truck and we back. We picking up some uh steel poles going to Louisiana. Right now we're in Steel, Alabama at I forgot what this place is called. It's like D Mont or something like that. Steel steel poles. Oh that's a a simple old picked up a uh before this low we picked up a coil at the same place in Colbert. and it makes sense to do a video about that one because it's the same same type of load same setup same amount of change same weight same everything right so here today this is my first time carrying these so i'm gonna do a video on it and then once we get loaded and pulled up and start securing i'll get back with y'all man
Well, that's a done deal. We here. I I one, two, three, four, five, six. I got eight straps on this loaded. I only weigh 29,000 pounds. So we good on securement. There we go, boys. St still light poles. Headed to Louisiana. There we go. I'm a bit of a, a little neat freak. I wanted to move this one over to here. Cause we gotta have two in the first five foot of the back in front of the load. But that's good. Right here, that's holding pressure down on all this, so that's pretty good. Probably over secure, but it's okay. Now we about to head in the office, get our paperwork, and we outie. So you two, we updated the load a little bit before we pulled off. We put one at the bottom, cause you want one at the bottom of each, just for safety and cautious reason. And I also read the customer requires it, so good thing I just put it. There we go. Now we easing out, <laughs> ready to roll. What's good, gang? What's good, gang? It's your boy Demonte the Truck, and we back, baby. Y'all see the company shirt, huh? But yeah, we currently parked in at a pilot. Strap still tight, so we good on that. We did a load check, probably about a hundred, a hundred miles, miles or so. We always do our load check in the first. I do mine in the first. 100 miles but i keep an eye in a, on a window i mean out the mirror to check the strap see if it's flapping too much but yeah we got some light poles going to louisiana the interstate right there i'm trying to probably gonna zoom it in on the uh once i edit the video most likely gonna zoom it in but yeah we had a a good day today got a good bit i think we got about 200 and 58 miles to be exact to go. Four hours and about four hours and ten minutes. I say just four hours, so but yeah man. We parked at the pilot, we fueled up, they ran out of DEF, so that we gonna have to get some DEF in the morning. That's what it's gonna be. But for now for now your boy stopped and parked for the day. It's only like three, three o'clock. I should have rolled my binders up, but it's all good. I'm gonna just choke them. All the rest are rolled up. I just got them. They not new, but I picked up a car yesterday in uh, Culver. Picked up a car yesterday in Culver and then, uh, Dropped it on the yard because it was going to Ohio. And my DM said he don't want me going to Ohio on the, uh, today Tuesday. So, yeah, I would have made it to Ohio tomorrow, which would put me at Wednesday. Wednesday noon sometime. And that wasn't going to work because we was going to have to find something to get me back home. And he said he not too sure to have something coming right back down to Texas or uh, close to my house. So, he let me drop it on the yard. Somebody else took it that lived up there. I live close to Ohio. So yeah, man, everything going pretty good for me at Montgomery so far. So far, so good. But man, I'm going to get back to y'all. Tomorrow should be. But your boy about to go get something to eat. Thank y'all for watching. And always, it's your boy, Demont to the truck. What up, what up, what up? It's your boy, Demont to the trucker. Thank y'all for watching. <laughs>